Hey guys, Pastor Ashley here. I'm gonna share a Devo with you today and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your family's doing well. I think by now, um, most of us are probably kind of in the same boat as far as thinking, okay, this is getting kind of old, right? We're all kind of at home. Some of us can't work, some of us can, but there's a lot of questions up in the air and some of you might be thinking, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with, with, with my job doesn't pull through? What am I gonna do if I can't go back to school? What about graduation? What about prom? All these thoughts up in the air. What if I get sick? There's a lot of things, there's a lot of questions, um, and we don't have a lot of answers. So the debug that I wanna share with you this morning, I hope that it speaks to your heart and encourages you today. So turn with me to 1 Peter chapter 5, it's gonna be verse five through 10. It says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under God's almighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is, it says in 1 Peter that God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. I feel like we all need a little bit of grace right now, but what we need to do before we can get that is we need to humble ourselves. And I think sometimes we don't really think about, uh, you know, casting our cares onto God, requiring humility, but it really does. A lot of times we just go throughout our life and we try to handle things on our own and we don't think about humbling ourselves before God and saying, I need help. Like, I don't know if I've made the right decision. I don't know if I'm gonna get a paycheck next week. I don't know what to do and just having a real conversation with God and asking him to help you. So first we have to humble ourselves. We have to come to a place where we know that we need God. We need to ask for help. We need to tell him what's going on in our heart and what's going on in our mind. The second thing is cast your care onto him. So casting, if you think about it in terms of fishing, you know, you're you're throwing something far. You're putting it onto him as far away from you as possible. That's what God wants us to do. He, it's not that we're not gonna be concerned. It's not that things aren't gonna cause us to worry, but we don't hold on to that worry. We cast it upon the Lord and let Him carry it. And then the third thing is we have to be alert because the enemy is out there. There's things going on in this world that we cannot control. But Peter is telling us that we have to be alert. We have to be self-controlled. We can't allow our thoughts to overcome us, to consume us. We can't allow the fear to take over. And it says that we have to resist him and we have to stand firm in our faith. When we don't know what else to do, we have to stand firm. And then he encourages us because he says, know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. We're all going through the same thing at the same time. We're all in this together. We're all serving the same God. We all have the same hope. We all have the same faith. And so that's an encouragement to me, just to know that there's other people out there that are going through the same thing as me. I'm not alone. We may not be able to be together physically, but I know that if I need something, I can call my friend or I can call my mom or I know that I can get on social media and, and maybe even through a small group, you know, share what's going on in my life. But I just wanna encourage you out there, if you feel like this is getting old and you're kind of at the end of your rope, humble yourself before God and acknowledge that you can't do it alone and you need his help. Because when you do that, he's gonna equip you and he's gonna give you the grace that you need to get through each day. So I hope you're doing well. I'm praying for you. We're thinking about you, we're here for you. If you need anything, make sure you reach out and stay connected in your community groups. Um, I also wanted to remind you to join us on Sunday morning for our online experience. We have a new time for you. Our first service is gonna be at eight o'clock, then 10 o'clock, and then 12 p.m. 
Don't miss it. It's an amazing, amazing service, and I'll see you next time.